My name's Charlotte Gracious. Um, I am not affiliated to any organisation. I've just spent a lot of time on Twitter. I've always been really concerned about Julian's uh, welfare and just about protecting free speech. So um, on Thursday when he was arrested, uh, I was on Twitter saying that we ought to do something. Sheila Coombs picked up on that and we decided we'd try and organise something today um, and amazing to get this organised at such short notice. As an Ecuadorian citizen, I, am, I feel and I believe this is a disgraceful attitude uh, conduct by Mr Moreno. Since Mr Moreno started the uh, power in 2017, he uh, turned the things round, had negotiations with the uh, United States and uh, given on a plata plate for, uh, to um, Julian Assange uh, head. Just a message to Julian Assange, we, we as Ecuadorian, uh, we want to fight for him. Hands off Assange! US! UK! Hands off Assange! US! UK! Hands off Assange! US! UK! Hands off Assange! Well, I'm here outside Belmarsh Prison. I've come to show my solidarity with Julian Assange, who's been treated incredibly badly, in my opinion. He's somebody who is probably the most important journalist anywhere in the world, who's shone a light of transparency on the human rights abuses, on the abuse of state power, on the war crimes that were perpetrated in Iraq, uh, and has done a, an incredible service, I think, for humanity. And yet he was dragged out unceremoniously of the uh, Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, he's obviously an unwell man, that was pretty clear from the images that we saw on our TV screens. And he was thrown into the back of a police van and, and is now incarcerated here in Belmarsh Prison. Uh, he's somebody who we should be venerating, he's somebody who actually should have been taken to hospital in the back of an ambulance, not uh, thrown into the back of a, of, a, of a police van. I'm privileged to know Julian Assange. He's a friend of mine, so I have a personal obligation to be here outside Belmarsh Prison uh, to stand in vigil uh, to his unjust incarceration. But even if I didn't know him, and of course millions, hundreds of millions, have never had that privilege to know Julian Assange, they should be here, at least in spirit, because it's truth and courage that are incarcerated behind the bars uh, that Julian Assange sits within. Uh, the idea that by publishing the truth, and no one has ever even attempted to contradict that it was the truth that Julian published. If you can end up in prison for publishing the truth, then we are no longer a free country, we no longer live in a free society, and we might as well deliver ourselves behind those walls and behind those bars. Yeah, sure, my name is Lee Stranahan. I'm the co-host of a show on Radio Sputnik out of Washington, D.C., called Fault Lines with Nixon and Stranahan. I'm, I'm so uh, honored to be able to be here because this, to me, is the biggest story in the world right now. If they can shut down the truth, if they can shut down journalism, you might as well put me behind those bars, too. You might as well put you behind those bars as well. And I, I don't mean just you behind the camera. I mean everyone watching. He is taking on the biggest target in the world, which is the worldwide military-industrial complex, the people who make money off of fomenting wars and conflicts, not, not even wars sometimes, through economic sanctions, starving people out. This goes back to siege warfare, of course. Uh, it's not a new tactic, but we're doing it now economically. So even when he was in the Ecuadorian embassy, he couldn't communicate. And all that means is on the, on the big events of the past, to, in the States, we've had this Trump-Russia thing. It's almost like if you're in the UK, you're probably, whatever your view on Brexit, you're sick of the 24-7, it's all Brexit all the time, right? Well, picture it in the US, it's been this Trump-Russia collusion story. 24-7, whatever you think about it, and it's, and by the way, I think it's an intentional technique. It's trying to wear people down. It's trying to take people out so they're just sick of hearing about whatever you want to do, great, whatever you do. And this is the way the elites work. They have a, uh, they have a system, it's a media system, it's not journalism. It's designed to repeat messages over and over and over and over again so they get in your head. Assange has been taking on 
the biggest issue of our era, which is the, the global war machine and how it affects everything, how it affects not just foreign relations, but domestic policy and everything else. And he's the one who's exposing that, and that's why they've silenced him, and that's why they've jailed him. Well, the, there have been uh, cases where extradition has been overturned by the government, and of course we demand that the British parliamentarians do so on this occasion. Uh, the courts will be the next battleground, but parliament will be the final battleground, and we will not hesitate to mobilize daily and all day uh, the public in Britain to press their parliamentarians to call this whole thing off. Because Assange committed no greater a crime than, for example, the Daily Telegraph did when it bravely published the expenses scandal which revealed that hundreds of MPs were cheating the taxpayer, stealing taxpayers' money in the expenses scandal. The information was stolen, but the Telegraph knew that it was in the public interest that it should be published, and they did publish it, and they were not damned. They are respected forever for having done so. US, UK, hands off Assange! US, 